Obama. What, what does it mean? Obama actually spied on Trump? Well, here's the deal. It's a matter of record that the NSA, yes. through the Snowden leads, spies on every American. That's right. That's right. And it's being stored in Utah at their, you know, true dollar storage center up there. So okay. time, so they got everything on us. They got it. Yeah. So is they Trump an American? Was he spied upon? Yes. yes. So anytime they want, they can just go back and look and farm those records. So if Obama wanted to say, I want to see everything on, all they have to do is they just go back and look at everything they have and bring it out. So did they spy on? Yes. They spy on all of us. You can't have it both ways. If they're spying on all of us, they spied on him too. Uh -huh. I understand your reasoning. I understand your reasoning. Yeah. So he's and spying being, on everybody. And then being, and then being that it was Evelyn Farkas. I don't know if you caught that interview. I'm catching a little bit of that. Yeah, with her, with Brzezinski. Well, she just comes out and says, now we were gathering all the intelligence information we could on Trump, giving it to Obama at his request. I mean, she said yeah, that. Yeah, then I have to catch up. Then I have to catch up. Then so, then I, to catch up. Yeah. I, I got a question for you. Okay. Who gets locked up first? Well, right. Two of her closest aides just got arrested. Yeah, but who gets locked up first? What would he get arrested for? Well, he would get, he could, well, well that's what we'll find out. Well, that's you, what we'll find we out. We know what she's well, done. Is that a question of, of the suggestion of what? The question is simply, who gets locked up first? Yeah, but what would be the charge? We have, we know what the charge is. I, would be I, think, I think that by no metric possible is she more liable to be locked up. I know that's impossible that is he more liable to be locked up. Yes, I do. I you do have 35 years of criminal his, activity on this. I think his, I think his criminal activity goes far beyond anything she could have done. You can't name one person. I can name a, a dozen off the top of my head. I could, well, Trump University. But where's the charge? They just sell, they just settled for $25 million. So that's a crime in what, I mean, well, settled, they could get it out of the way. What was they just settled it to get it out of the way. Okay. Well, I don't listen. Well, I'll How does be, that affect I'll be you? around. I'll be around, and we'll see. Yeah. How does it affect uh, me? But are you familiar with what's come out in the Wiener lab time? You know who Wiener is. I know who Wiener is. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, a lot of stuff. Is and what the NYPD leaked out just a few days ago? What, what, what well, you see, the laptop had all this information about sexual perversion and the sex pedophile rings that we run out of the Clinton Foundation for Haiti. Oh, you mean like the, uh, like, like the pizzeria? Thing. No, 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 wait, hang like on, all the shit on. that was happening in the pizzeria. Hang on now, hang on. Well, that, yeah, that blew up and... and no, 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 that, 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 that was a... a that, 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 was, that, that was a red herring. Let me explain this. That was a red herring. I happen to have the opportunity to be out here. That's why I like talking out here. I get to speak to a lot of people I've never had an opportunity to speak to. Two weeks ago, a man came by, a nice young lady, who was from Orange County. I asked him what he did, Orange County, California. I asked him what he did. He says, I'm the prosecutor. Really? It says, that pedophile ring that was just busted out there, do you know, have anything to do with that? Because I was with peace. I go, really? I says, can I ask you a few questions? Just tell me what you can. Like, you know, I, go, I go, that pedophile ring, it's my understanding, a lot of this information is coming from the Wiener laptop. He goes, that's true. And that there's been like 2,000 pedophiles arrested since he got involved. So, he 
He's never denied this stuff. The spirit drinks. They never denied that. Where they on the menu was blood, semen, and urine. Yes. Plus the artwork they had for that Podesta ad name. This is all Podesta's email. Yeah, so, so all this stuff's coming out. So I asked this prosecutor, when are we going to start seeing the names of people that we recognize? Yeah. Because I know this leads up to the Clintons and the Justice and all the rest of the Well, they gave me the old, they gave me the old wheels of justice go slow. So it says grease the wheels. We're talking about children here yeah. and pedophile rings, and they're using these pedophile rings to ensnare politicians so they can blackmail them. So I'm assuming that if I go back and I e and I Google Podesta pedophile emails, that it's going to pop up. Go to WikiLeaks and read that. them. I'll do that. Please do that because I mean, I think that, that comes out WikiLeaks. No one ever denies that those things aren't true. And, they, and they, in their own words, they're being condemned. That's why no one believes these guys anymore, because they're not bringing this up. Fuck it on news. Well, I mean, if they're taking commercial money, they're not telling the news. If the pharmaceutical company, if they're taking pharmaceutical company money. Unlike Fox, you mean? They're bad, too. I don't trust any of them. It's just, look, if this is what it is. It's the left-right paradigm. It's them, you know, Democrat, Republican pissed. It's them going to, have, you know, playing one side off the other. So Fox will represent, you know, one side per se, as the left will be, you know, let's say MSNBC the other. But in essence, they're both being owned by the same people. There are only six organizations that own 95 percent of everything you can hear, read, and see. So those six corporations, those six major conglomerates, are not in it to tell the truth because if anything comes out bad against them, they're not going to let their own news organizations report on it. So that's why you wouldn't hear about poison vaccines when you're taking pharmaceutical commercial money. You know, it's not happening. So Fox News, I'll tell you, there was a guy who came out a long time. With his family, I have no reason for him to lie to me. For him to lie to me. Uh, and he said this, this is a quote. What he gave him. we were talking about the news. And he goes, I've been a major, I've been an editor for a major news network for 24 years now. And the best you will ever hear from us is a half-truth to cover a lot. Unquote. So everything, look at the church committee hearings back in 1974, Operation Mockingbird, where the CIA has placed agents in every single newspaper, editorial board, every single TV network, has a CIA better in it. So, all these things came out in 74. Things haven't changed, they've gotten worse. Yeah. So these, all, if we're hearing through here, is going to be contrived. It's mind manipulation. It's to put us, it's to take our attention off of the real things that are going on behind the scenes, in the deep state, which is now becoming into the lexicon fight. I mean, look at John F. Kennedy's speech that got him killed. Look that up. Listen, I got it on the, on the video back here, where he mentions the shadow government by name. Yeah. It says they're never held accountable. They're, you know, they have their own way of doing things. And they, you know, two months later, two and a half months later, they blew his head off. So this deep state that exists, what is a real government? These guys aren't going to tell you about it. They are owned by the deep state. So when you hear it, they can remember that when this guy came in, who was against him? Everybody. Everybody. Wall Street. He never got a dime's worth of money off of Wall Street. Didn't get anything from Wall Street. The media hated him. Hollywood hated him. Silicon Valley hated him. The leftists on both sides of the post hated him, and his own party hated him. Right. right. Why? Why? 
because our government is so infested with corruption that an outside look for as long as I've been alive, all I've been hearing is people going, these damn politicians, these damn we need a non politician. We finally get a non politician and a people bitch. But do we, do we think that he is going to solve corruption? I mean, do you really think that Trump is going He's to solve corruption? He's busting the pedophiles, that's a good start. Do you think Trump is going to solve corruption? He's busting the pedophiles, that's a good well, start. Well, I bet I don't know about But I think I he's... do, look it up. I talked to the prosecutor from Orange County that busted the pedophile okay. ring. It's coming okay, out of Podesta's laptop. Let's let it come out then, and I will come back and shake your hand and say thank you. Let me find my wife. All right, sir. Let Pleasure to talk to you. Go check out that information. I will do that. Yeah. Do you have a list of info, or no? Huh? You have a list of info, or no? I know. Let me give you this. No. This is a good news site. And you want to go listen to it. All right. I think I tried once or twice. It's a bit rough, but it's raw news. Okay. It's, it's unfiltered news. Okay. So, okay. you know, get a better Thank you. All right. I will check it out.